mention I could find for celebration of birthdays is actually in the Torah, uh, which is called the Old Testament. So I, before I mention it, when I heard about this, I thought maybe they had a proof from Musa salam or Ibrahim salam. So it would be a proof for us. But in fact, when we look at Genesis 40 verse 20, we find in it, now it came to pass on the third day, which was the Pharaoh's birthday. And he made a feast for all his servants. So who started the tradition of birthdays, as far as we can find in, in, in historic records, is the Pharaohs. Not the Anbiya, not Ibrahim salam, not Musa salam. In fact, in the Old Testament, the Torah, or the New Testament, the Injil, or the Quran, or the Zabur, we don't find a single prophet or a pious man celebrating their birthdays, only the wicked. But you could say, okay, that was something in the past and that's how it started, but it's not a religious thing today. We don't, we don't celebrate it religiously. But I'm gonna ask you, what do you do on birthdays? You get cakes and you put candles and you light them and you make wishes and you blow them out. So where did all that come from? And I'm not gonna guess at it. The National Geographic Society in a research and a book that they have published called An Uncommon History of Common Things. And this is not from my perspective. These are published books you can look up yourself. When they talk about birthdays and birthday cakes, they said that ancient Greek, the pagans, idol worshippers, the ancient Greek baked round or moon-shaped honey cakes. And they were as a tribute, a religious ritual to Artemis, the moon goddess. And the candles were lit so the moon glow can be imitated in the ritual that they did for Artemis, the moon goddess, the Greek pagan ritual. And this is where we find that lighting candles, blowing them out, making wishes. This was a way of ibadah for them because this was a prayer they were making to a moon goddess. Who loves this holiday? Who is the one that sticks to it? We find in the Satanic Bible, written by Antoine, uh, Sandor Lavey and he wrote in it that the highest of all holidays in the satanic religion is the date of one's own birth. This is the most beloved, the most practiced and the highest of the festivals of those who worship shaitan. And what do we find in our religion in Islam? Not a single place in the Quran where any birthday is celebrated. Never in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the Sahaba Radiallahu Anhu. Rather, we find the hadith in, a, in, in the Sunan of Abi Dawood, which is a hadith reported by Ibn Umar Radiallahu Anhu from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said, whoever imitates a people, then he is from them. So when we celebrate birthdays, who are we imitating? The Pharaohs, the Greeks worshiping their goddesses, or the Satan worshippers who consider this their highest holiday? 